Gucci in the loop. Shit, it's go time, man. <laughs> it's go time. And we back like we never left. We didn't. It's every Monday, baby. Can we give a round of applause for us being so consistent? How long has it been? Well, it might be nine months, ten months, maybe? Nine, ten months, right? Yeah. All for you guys. We do it all for you. Boo. All for you guys. Y'all keep us on our feet. You ready to get immersed? I'm immersed right now. My man. My man. When I put on the headphones, I feel like the mamba mentality. I changed as a person, as an individual. I'm locked in. The jersey bite. <laughs> I didn't remember you did <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's episode 80 something. And uh, I am your host, Sebastian Robles. And this is your other beautiful host, Jaleva. Jaleva. <laughs> um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Uh, happy Monday. Mondays don't suck. Um, what's today's day? The third, right? Uh, yeah. Dr. Strange. Uh, yeah. Second, third. Yep. Third. Second, third. Yeah. Is a, yeah. 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 April 3rd. Well, so happy April 3rd. Uh, let's kill it this month. I think this is episode 85 or 84. One of those. Yeah. yeah. 80 something. 80 something, doggy. 80 something. We just had a workout, so we feel nicey. We feel on alive, my we boy. We feel nicey, my boy. We didn't get the pump that we wanted, but it's all right. Yeah, we burned the right. calories that we needed. Um, you can find <laughs> us on Spotify. You can find me. Or Apple Podcasts or here on YouTube um thank you guys so much subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed if you're brand new hi how are you um how you doing the other day last monday we kind of did ourselves a no sabo challenge yep and i feel like i was trash did you see some of the comments yes what do people say that we suck <laughs> but i blame did they really? I, yes i blame <laughs> that on you why me well, you did kind of good. Okay. Because I was fair. You know what's interesting? What's interesting? You texted me. I might have talked about this on the podcast, but you said, yo, I'm going to stump you. I'm going to make you look like a no sour kid to the max, fool. And I literally, it challenged me. I was like, oh, shit. I hadn't wrote my words yet. Yeah. So I went to work, daddy. I was like, I'm going to yeah. stump this fool. So I think I, can, I came more aggressive because you set me up. And then the words you gave me, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Now I feel bad. But I didn't. Yeah. Well... I just, I'm here to expose you. Well, everybody on the comments were also like, do like, cause you left early. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody hates you. Wow. Mm, they don't hate you, <laughs> but they're, they're pissed off. Yeah. Because they're like, Hey, why, where did you go? Right. Well, Anyways, you're a busy man. Things to do. People uh, to see. Running businesses. CEO. Being a host of La Platica. Number one. Uh, going to the gym and just. Never you know, said it. Doing you. Gotta do it. <laughs> and uh, so. Everybody wants us to run it back. So I think that's what we're going to do today. All right, part two? Part two, but with a little twist, because if you if guys don't follow us, follow us on our Instagrams. Obviously, I said us and the Josh Leva. Yep. Um, but if you follow our podcast Instagram, La Platica Pod, mm -hmm. on Instagram, we always talk to you guys. We do questionnaires. We do polls, blah, blah, blah. Um, and we ask you guys, try to stump us. <gasps> hey, switching subjects real quick. Switch it up. Because you didn't mention uh, our TikTok, which is also very popping. Very popping. Also the number one Latino TikTok in the world. Did you say that? <laughs> I didn't, see I didn't that. say that. But dude, did you hear about TikTok potentially like seriously getting banned this time? Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. You don't think so? Fuck no. It's kind of scary. I was scared. I got scared. This is what it is. I did. The United States Ooh, is, politician is, is, is the most, is the biggest gang in the world. Dun, uh -huh. dun, 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 so TikTok dun, is not dun, part of the dun, United dun. States. Right. It's owned by China. Something like that. Yeah. Um. So I think... In the grand scheme of things. Whoa. Um, Slow down, dude. Um, long story short, I'm not trying to get too intricate. Make it long. Intricate. <laughs> um, the United States doesn't like that. No. Since the United States is the biggest gang in the world. Mm -hmm. He says, You're hey, safe. if you want to be here, I need a cut. Mm. So the whole thing, like, did you even see the questions they were asking the yeah, guy? Yeah, was crazy. It was crazy, but it was so like common sense, like dumb yeah. questions. I, it almost looks fake. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I, I was like, I can't even watch this. It makes me feel dumber than I already am. Yeah. Especially <laughs> now being an Osawa kid. Um, <laughs> Super Osawa. Entonces, um, <laughs> I think that it's kind of like, hey, let's scare him. Power move. It's a power move. Money now move. it's gonna be like, 
about this privacy settings this privacy settings that i'm like it's the same privacy settings basically as every social media platform hey it's 2023 we have no privacy ever no encountered yeah exactly um it's just that it's not ran by the united states right so it's basically a bully move yeah um and i think that it's like hey if you're making cheese i want some cheese too yeah and they're gonna come to an agreement you know mm -hmm. that no one's gonna know about right and that's it you're never gonna right. really hear anything about like tiktok just just in um it's not being banned anymore. No, you're just not. You're just. It's, not, it's, it's just gonna, gonna die down. Fizzle. It's just gonna die down Fizzle. and go under the rug, like yeah. uh, sweep the, it under the rug, like American citizens say, right? Uh, I love TikTok, and Me I don't too. want to go anywhere. No. I get the whole I, look. It helps people grow. From I, I saw Joe Rogan. He kind of like read the the fine print of like TikTok. You know how like every once in a while I said like you have to accept this in order if you want to continue the app. Yeah. Apparently, they have the ability to like really see what's going on on your phone, like what you're doing, even like whatever you're connected to, whatever you, if you have one TikTok account and you, you have an, like a, an iCloud and your, lap, your laptop, whatever you have, they have access to see what you're typing and searching and messaging, mm -hmm. all that stuff. It's pretty crazy, dude. Yeah, I bet. So when I it comes bet. to stuff like that, like I don't want China like knowing that sure. information. You sure, know sure, I mean? sure, yeah. sure, sure. I get it, I get yeah. it, I get it. But you don't think Instagram or YouTube or other that they platforms do that, do that? No, you're right. No, you're right. Or yeah. something like that? I like to believe that they don't, but deep down inside, I know that they do. Well, we never really think that they do because it's never brought up. Right. Because they don't talk about it. Yeah, because there's money. Why talk about it? I talk about it. Yeah, but why, why would you ever delete this platform that American companies... Do you know how many people use TikTok in America? I don't know. 150 million. Bro, that's almost half the population of the entire United States. Yeah. Everybody. It's wild. Everybody, basically. Yeah, yeah. Except probably people from Arkansas, wherever that's at. Don't care. No shade. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're from Arkansas, shout out to you. Shout out to you. <laughs> um, but what I'm trying to say is um, there's so much money being flowed in, into yeah. TikTok mm -hmm. that American brands, your brand... And millions of other brands use as a mm -hmm. platform to to to, to um, bring awareness, bring awareness, and and create revenue for themselves. Right? Oh, right, yeah, absolutely. And when American brands create revenue for themselves, that means that they pay taxes to who? To America, mm. the United States of America. Well, I think if so, China runs it, they don't pay taxes to America, dude. No, that's yeah, I get that. That's why I think America wants a cut. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, American brands are paying still America. Mm -hmm. because they're making money on tiktok right I see so why saying. would why would it would not be a smart move they're not trying to take you know delete the app yeah what that was that would be the dumbest move ever i heard a rumor that mr zuckerberg apparently over at meta they uh they are like i apparently like intimidated by tiktok they're like afraid that it could take over like instagram sure. and all that stuff so they're the ones that are funding the politicians and saying like yo i need you guys to get, get rid of this app like we'll we'll feed you guys money but make this happen for me yeah, bro, we're talking about well, Zucky. May, maybe he's, the homie Zucky. Maybe the homie Zucky wants to cut too. He's like, yo, it's like, what are we gonna do? Let's bully these fools. Yeah, you know, yeah. And that's, you know, but whatever. Hey, honestly, if I was Instagram, say I was Zucky and I had a Billy, right, and Tik Tiki was coming around me, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, I'd be like, yo, how much you need? I need this gone. It's chess, not checkers. I'm on my mob shit. I it, need this gone. It's chess, not checkers. Hey, checkmate, my. Huh? So, uh, I mean, I would probably do the same thing. Yeah. I'm not mad at it, but I'm no. just saying, like, that this is just real life shit. Yeah. You know, I might be wrong. This is just me, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm more of a universe guy. They say money makes the world go round. And I think that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Even though people think that Earth is flat. Is which it not? it's not. No? No. I believe it's not. No, it's not. Right? They, you know, at one point, um, people thought that the universe revolved around Earth right like earth was we the were the center, center of, of the, universe. the universe yeah, yeah. and then they realized that i am the yeah center of the exactly <laughs> your ass um so yeah but yeah that's crazy that is kind of crazy yeah that that's super crazy um dude i heard this sorry i know we're gonna get on to this thing, but right, i heard this interesting thing on on tiktok actually uh tiktok university where they were saying, and this blew my mind. So we have technology that's very advanced, right? Like we have like the internet yeah. and Wi-Fi and all that stuff, right? And for us, like we're able to grasp uh, the technology and how advanced we are because of the internet, right? Mm -hmm. But they were saying like during the times of the pyramid, we don't know how the pyramids were built. There's all these theories and rumors and stuff like that, but nobody knows for sure. So this guy proposed this idea that we are thinking only the technologies that we've created, yeah, yeah, yeah. that that is how 
that, that's that the only way to, to advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were like, what if there's something that like on a different, yeah. I don't know, like oh, a yeah, different yeah. thing that it was just as equal as like or the more. internet or more yeah. advanced yes. that was allowed them to create. Yeah. And I was like, I, think I, I, I can't that. even wrap my head around that. Like what else could it be? Like, we well, just think like technology is all yeah. digital, right? Yeah, like that's how you advance. It's like, but what if it was something else that it's like, beyond that yeah they were saying that the that the pyramids of giza they still don't really know how they were built that's wild to me it's wild to me too it's like yeah. they were saying that the precision and mm -hmm. how it was made and yeah. where it's positioned yeah and you know we can go down the rabbit hole even there's like certain rocks that they used to build it that yeah. were like 500 tons yeah that were located like 700 miles away from the pyramids yeah like how to bring them over how'd they bring them over mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah it's wild it yeah, is, it's crazy. It is. Um, they, they were saying that, that, how can I explain this? They were saying that in those times, that the technology was a lot more advanced than what it is now. And then when that era stopped, they were saying that it deleted everything. It was almost like yeah, a restart a reset. for humanity. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know. They Sometimes they don't even know how old those pyramids are. Yeah. I saw this right. I saw this crazy ass thing, this picture that just blew my mind. And I'll try to get it like on on, on Google so I can show you guys. But you know how there's three pyramids of Giza, mm -hmm. and it just shows the tip. Mm -hmm. There's an underground. Oh, like, I saw that. Where it's like it goes longer. Where it's way longer. I don't know about that. Where one, they, where they, I saw that. Where they like, almost look like like these these columns, like yeah, these huge yeah, skyscrapers. Yeah. But it's way <laughs> under, and we're only seeing the tip. Nah, okay, dude. but imagine if that was real. That's crazy. Because the pyramids of Giza, there's some pyramids in there. They say they're either not allowed or nobody has gone all the way, way down. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's the thing about that the that picture i saw that picture the people posting that picture are random ass fools like yeah. i'm like sometimes i get sucked into dude i i'm I, you know me i'm pretty gullible so like i'll listen to things and yeah, i'm like getting are. super sucked into like what they're saying and how like the education behind it and then i start thinking i'm like wait who is this fool mm -hmm. who, who is this guy who what is he saying yeah. right now yeah but yeah I, I don't know unless i get some credible source like google you know what i mean where they say like we're the number one latino podcast like a source like that where, which is reliable and trustworthy and yeah. honest i'm not gonna believe it dude but even though we never said that though yeah i never said it dude so it's it's i mean we can talk about that about i love that anything. shit yeah me too yeah. like I'm, I'm never really the type that's like no 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 that's no, no. Bullshit, i'm super right? open-minded yeah i, I just like i'd rather be open-minded because yes. i feel like when i'm open-minded my my your mind, mind is open my mind is open there you there's go no lock. <laughs> there's no lock my mind is open and it, ma and it makes me happier that yeah. way you know like yeah. what if what yeah. if that you know i have i have one wish in this world i'm very grateful for the opportunity to be alive i don't know if you saw sorry dude my brain is working everywhere but uh there's neil degrasse tyson he's an astrophysicist you know neil degrasse he was saying that there the what was he saying about like there are more there are more humans that will never be born than that, will yeah, exist yeah, yeah. will exist yeah yeah, yeah. and that's like kind of crazy yeah that's not what i was gonna say there's more humans that, that never exist that will never exist that the possibility of them never existing is higher yeah than actually existing so they're saying that like you, you guys back at home us the fact that we're existing at we're against moment, all odds right all now odds. like it's it's almost a miracle that yes. you are who you are and yes. everybody back at home is yes. who because the possibility of actually like like for example if we can ha be capable of just making you know if every human that that could be alive mm -hmm. which means sex and sperm and all <laughs> that shit um it, it you know like, yes like the fact like how many sperm count is there in the thing so there's, and, and there's a lot you know and there's only one sperm you know one hits of them. It. um <laughs> there yeah it's it's insane that's crazy it's, it's insane crazy. yeah it's wild um like why me that's a good question yeah it's a good question but what were we gonna say i love that i love that uh so what i was gonna say i'm very grateful for all of this and uh if i don't get this it, i'm okay because i'm grateful for the opportunity yeah. to be alive but anyways if i had the opportunity to have one wish is that when i die I get all the answers of the universe. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. Like, I'd want to know about the pyramids. I'd want to know all these great, crazy mysteries. Like, I'd want to know. Like, I'd want to understand Same. space. I'd want to understand if, like, if we live in, uh, if there's, like, parallel yeah. universes. Like, I just want to be able to have all that information. Like, that would be cool. Because, like, the idea of, like, there's so much unknown and that we'll never know. I'm like, damn, that sucks. Like, it just really sucks. Like, maybe we can get that. Mm -hmm. Like, when we die. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, yeah, 100%. Is that kind of weird? 
You know, like, I mean, <laughs> I think everybody thinks about that, right? Yeah. Like, but will, we want to know. Will we ever know? But us as humans, we're, we're already like programmed to be okay with not knowing. Yeah. We're okay with it because we're like, okay, we know that the average lifespan is 60 to 80 years, something like that. Yeah. You know? Well, hopefully longer than that. I'd say 80 to 100. Don't cut my life short, G. I'm trying to go to 120. I think if you go to your reliable source, Google, yeah. it's not 80 to 100. I think it also depends on where you live in the world, too. I think that's sure. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think that too. Yeah, I think that too. Sixty to eighty, though. Damn, that's like that's I, like two weeks away. And and you <laughs> and you know, like back 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 in the day, like it used to be way less. Yeah, yeah. Like it that's keeps. Crazy. I think as humanity and technology, you know, continues to grow, I think we can be able to if you stay healthy, because you know. Yeah, you want to live forever. If you had the opportunity. Yeah. To, yeah. You would yeah. say yes. Yeah. You would say yes. I would say yes. But what if that means everybody else around you dies, but you get to meet new people, but never new family. That's the only criteria. That would be pretty selfish of me. Wouldn't it be? You tell me G you tell me G. Damn. I don't know. Yeah. It's a tough question, huh? Yeah. Are you scared to die? No, I'm not scared to die. I'm scared of how I'm going to die. I think that is what I'm more afraid of. Yeah. Dying doesn't scare me. Like I'm terrified of airplanes. I don't. I don't really like say that out loud a lot. Yeah. But like I get, I get really anxious when I fly, and I fly a lot. And and it doesn't stop me from flying. By the Chill way, like, out. I still go everywhere. I've been around the world, I've seen a lot of faces. You know what I mean? But uh, I do get anxious, and the idea of dying on an airplane terrifies me, well, dude. Like I just feel like there's so much because... time, like that you're gonna be like experiencing death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. headed to that direction. Like I just wanna. I want it to be gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is that when you're on an airplane, there's nothing you can do. You're, yeah, I'm a control every, freak. Everything is out of your control. Yeah, and you can't control. Everything airplane. is out of your control. Yeah. That's why it's scary. Because yeah. there's nothing you can do if something happens. Your life is genuinely in other people's yeah. hands. Yeah. But I've heard what, dude, I have to go through this whole process when I'm on an airplane to like create that peace of mind for me. Um, These pilots aren't even flying the plane as much as they no. used to now. It's all autopilot. So it's all like technology that's flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I tend to trust technology more than like a human because humans are flawed. I think technology is slightly less flawed. I yeah. mean, there's still error, but less, yeah, yeah, less yeah, yeah. error. Yeah. 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 I think what they only do now is they push a button. They just kind of like make take off, take off yeah. and just land, boop, boop. you know, yeah. and I'm assuming there's other stuff, uh, you know, we probably sound ignorant right now. <laughs> We're like, yeah, you guys don't do shit. Y'all don't do shit. Y'all just push a button. All those, all that money y'all spent on school and those yeah. hundreds and hours, hundreds yeah. of hours trying to fly and shit, get your license. Shit, let me fly the plane. Y'all whack. Imagine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm sure. No, right. They do mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. and, you know? <laughs> Time to push the button. Turn on the damn Wi-Fi. <laughs> just everybody only cares about that? Dude. I like to, I like to try to figure out like when the plane goes on autopilot. And then when the pilots are flying the plane, I'm like, when I, I feel like a little, like when they start, like uh, when they're descending, I'm like, oh, the pilot. You know flying. when I think it goes on autopilot? When they reach the 10,000, 10, 15,000, yeah. uh, and then it goes, bing. Yeah. And then everybody like, it's yeah. on cruise control now. Yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. think that's when it is. And then uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe when it goes through turbulence, maybe they kind of have to like, maybe grab it harder. <laughs> grab it firmer. Yeah, but. Hold on. Turbulence doesn't scare me anymore. No? No, I just think it's actually kind of funny. Though. Okay. Because everybody else is scared. Yeah. And then me, I'm just like, ha, ha, ha. But. They I say do. turbulence can't bring down a plane. No, no, no. It hasn't but, been brought down since like the 80s or something. Yeah, but I, I've i seen videos of like really bad that, turbulence. Yeah, and people like, get like messed up. It's like it's like pretty fucked up. Yeah. Um, I was talking with uh, Papo and because we were both kind of terrified of like flying on planes. Our friend, one of our friends, just to like cue you guys. Yeah. In. Um, and he was saying that most accidents on planes happen within the first 60 seconds. Yeah. He's the type of person, he sets an alarm as they take off to like 60 seconds. After 60, he's like, we're in the clear. Yeah, he like checks the turbulence channel. Yeah, I started doing that too. I wish whatever. he would have never showed me that because now yeah. I'm like on it. Yeah, no. You, I, I check it without even right. flying. I worry about other people in the sky. When, I'm like, when something happens is when they take off and when they land, nothing yeah. in between really. No, no, no. Um, But yeah, it's, it's, airplanes are crazy. I always talk to my mom and I'm like, the craziest thing about humanity is the fact that we, Build airplanes. Metal tubes that fly in the sky 100 miles an hour. Yeah, that burn five gallons of gas a second. Fossil fuel. A, a second. Did you know that? No. I Googled it the other day because yeah. Karen asked me how many, how much, um, how much you think it'll cost to fill this this plane this up? This bad boy up. So I Googled the plane. And <laughs> hey, run it, it through Arco. For a 10-hour flight, it would burn five gallons a second. And I think it said 35,000 liters of, of uh, gas, I think. 
It's crazy. Going back to the turbulence thing, dude. I saw this one video where like Boeing, they bend the wings yeah. to see how high they can go, and they go high. Dude. Yeah, and then finally they they're snap, unbreakable. But yeah, but it takes a lot. Like they'd have to yeah. be like almost parallel. Yeah, well, those those fucking planes, they're uh, they're uh, they're indestructible. <laughs> those motherfucking planes. Those God fucking damn. planes. Yeah, and I like being on bigger planes other than smaller. I, you planes. feel less turbulence. There's way less. You ever bro. been on a single engine plane, like the, the little tiny ones? Yeah, you feel everything. Yeah, the everything. Hell. They're safe everything. though. Yeah, it's like I've been on the propeller ones and everything. That's what too. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can almost feel the ground underneath you, like yeah, this, yeah. the not even the ground, like the 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 the, the earth, yeah. like the the wind. I don't know the sky, the sky. <laughs> Before we get into um, our no Salvo challenge again, brought to you by you guys. Um, I wanted to go back to Neil De what's his name? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's what his name is, right? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yeah. Yes. Um, he, he said something interesting the other day. I saw it on TikTok University. Uh, he said that uh, dogs oh. live about fourteen years. Yeah. Some twenty years. Yeah. You know, it's they they they're short lived a lot, which is sad. Um. Mm -hmm. But the way you know how like every year is is, is um is uh every year a dog lives is kind of like their seventh year. Oh yeah, yeah. You know yes. you know how they got that? Yeah, no. It's not really like any scientific reason or anything like that, but they compared the ratio between a dog's life and a human's life. Got it. So if if a dog is 14 years old, that Time means seven. that it's, it's 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 already at the end of its its um yeah at the end of its uh, life. So what's the end of kind of like our life, you know? Got it. Which is it'll be like 60, 70, yeah. maybe 80, right? Yeah. So they kind of that's where the kind of no, number seven came because they 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 kind of like that's the number average they got. Out. They averaged it out. Yeah. So they say he he says it, but I think there's some there there's some meaning behind that because dogs are extraordinary pets. Mm. They're caring, they're loving, um, and they are the best, to be honest. I agree. Yeah, sorry. dogs are great. Dogs over cats. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. All day. Oh, Why yeah. is that a debate? It's not. But anyways, I'm not going to get into that. Yeah, anyways. Yeah, dogs over cats. Um, dogs over cats. All day. All day. Yeah. Why is that even a debate? Roof over meow. All day. <laughs> Roof over meow for sure. <laughs> all day, <dude>. All day. <laughs> like, literally, dogs over cats. Dude, dogs come from wolves. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. All dogs come from wolves. Well, cats maybe come from lions and shit. Doubt it. All right, cool. <laughs> um, he was saying that since they are short lived, so and it also comes from um every day that they live. Each day is like seven human days. Oh shit! Yeah, Damn. that that's you know seven. Yeah. Um. So he says that every day a dog lives they never take that day for granted that's why they're so amazing oh and humans you know we kind of like whatever about life yeah. because we have you know a lot longer than dogs yeah but dogs are so awesome because they know that wow. each, for each day they live it's seven days so they wow they never take that day for granted Damn. And that's why dogs are so amazing. But when I heard that, I was like, damn, that was like beautiful. super tear. I saw this one TikTok. <laughs> we love TikTok, huh? Where this guy, he did like a sketch where he was like an alien talking to a human. And like the alien came down. He was like asking him about Earth. And then like he was like asking him. There was like a bunch of stuff. But one of the parts that I remember, he was like, how long do, you, do like humans live? And he's like, I don't know, like 60 to 80 years, whatever. Right. And he's like, wow. So you guys must take each day. Like you guys must enjoy and soak up each and every day. Like it must be so meaningful to you because yeah. it's not a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, not really. Like we really don't. Yeah. We kind of just, a lot of us like just kind of cruise control. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, fuck man, I don't want to do that, man. I just want to, yeah. every day has to be like. Yeah. yeah. And I was just about to say up. that too. Like me listening to that about how dogs cherish every each day, day, cherish each day because you know, um, it just either, it made me feel two ways. A, I need like, Cherish every moment. I cherish every moment with my dog. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah. And give them the best life, even though I already do, but yeah. like even better. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Because our life is short, their life is shorter. And then it made me realize how much I need to take my life. And, you know, I try mm -hmm. to be the best I can, but yeah. even even better. The best every single day. Yeah. So, for real. That's crazy. One last thing. Please. And then we'll go on commercial because yeah. we already did 30 minutes, basically. Um, Do you know, because dogs are better than cats, do you know that if you die which we will which we will but if you die by yourself right mm -hmm. and you have a dog it'll just starve to death and it'll just be next to you the Whoa. whole time yeah if you die next to a cat the cat will <laughs> eat you 
You're lying. I swear. They're not going to eat you. The dog, will, the cat will eat you when it's like to the point of starvation. It'll eat you. It's like, I mean, he already dead. It's like, you're already dead, homie. I mean, I'm hungry and you haven't even gave me any. See, I'm hungry. Yeah, the litter box is all cagado. Damn. And the dog was like. eat you. And the dog's like, nah. Also, homie, Romeo like, and Juliet like, shit. Uh-huh, like, uh-huh. you die, I die. Yeah. Damn. Everybody leave that. Like, I, like I'm, there's cat people out there. I get it. I like cats too. My my, my family has some cats. There's, they, dude, there's a. I they, think they're cool. Like, hey, Knuckles. Yeah, but, but do you think who, who who are more extreme, dog lovers or cat lovers? Cat lovers cat are lovers, so extreme dude. when yeah, it comes to cats. Yeah. I like cats too. Hey, what's up? You know, Knuckles, paws, whatever. Like, there's some cute ass cats. There's really good cats. Yeah, but, but the love and affection that you get from dogs, that yeah. connection is different, dude. It's way different. Unless we just haven't experienced it the way these cat people do. No, I'm sure there's some connection with cats, but yeah. Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. Roof over me all day, G. All day, G. All, all day. day. But cats are cool too, you know. <laughs> are you trying to convince yourself? The only, the only that thing cats I, are cool. What, you know what I like about cats that are kind of that's kind of cool. What? They can live on their own. Like you don't got to take yeah, care of them. You don't got to walk them. them. You don't got to do shit. You know. Yeah. Like yeah, have some food and water, and then like you can play with them for a little bit. Yeah, like, like some text cats, me, dog. Like, yeah, let like know text me. me. <laughs> let me know when you want to pick you up. <laughs> but cats can just do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then dogs they can't. They rely on you. You know, dad, yeah. mom, yeah. what are we doing today? Right. Which is amazing. Yeah. It's like a kid. Yeah. They really are. They really are their kids. That's why I've been so hesitant to get a dog because it's a full-time it's a full-time job. full-time thing. Like you, I even, I'm with you, like when you guys, you guys travel a lot, dude. Yeah. Like you have to get the babysitter and make yeah. sure that they know someone, how to treat Someone the, house sits, you yeah. know, I got to have somebody that likes dogs. Like, you right. know, I don't want you to be around my dog if you don't like them. Yeah. You know? See, you, I, I don't know. I'm too, uh... Yeah, I, I can't. I can't. That's I can't why I got two dogs because yeah. I would leave one by themselves back in the day. Yeah, I, yeah that makes sense. Just, and then I just feel bad even yeah. when I go to the store and he's just by himself. That's why I got another dog also because they're now they're just homies. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a dog when I like. I I like the idea of like raising a kid with a dog. Yeah, I just cool. think that's like really. Yeah, cool. it's very movie ish. Yeah. yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, man, dogs over cats all day. Or forever, yeah. Uh, comment down below. Do you guys prefer dogs or cats? That's a good question. Please let me know. That's a good and question. then that's gonna really like you know yeah. put put a period. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Our, I think that's gonna give me I the think, answer. I think people are gonna say dogs. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, I mean, why wouldn't they? I wonder if there's more species of or no, breeds of dogs or cats. You know what I mean? Like, is there more types of dogs or more types of cats? Because mm, there's know. a lot of type of dogs. Yeah. And like crossbreeding and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, but I don't know why I feel like cats. I don't know. Maybe they like. You know what's interesting? It's like there's there's always like that whole thing of like that a uh, lonely woman who with eight cats. Yeah, it's so interesting to me because I don't feel I feel like cats are so independent. Like, I feel like dogs would be more of like a somebody's lonely animal choice. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, well, because you're getting more affection from them, dude. You ever walk in a room? You can leave a room for like ten minutes, come back and your dog is like going crazy. Like, yeah, cats, but, but cats we will look at you and like. But, but we just said it right now. Who's crazier, dog owners or cat owners? Cat owners. Okay, that's why cat owners will have eight. They need they need more to they, make up for the lack crazy. of love. Because have you ever met somebody who? Sure, there there are people, but have you ever met somebody by themselves who has nine dogs? Not really. I mean, no, 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 not really. Yeah, because cat people, there are some, not all. Well, not all. Don't cancel me. <laughs> not all are a little crazier. There's some. There's something. If somebody told you like I had eight cats, I'm like, yeah. Somebody tell you me. Good? Somebody tell me how, why cats are better. I want. I want to believe you. Anyway, better than dogs. That's a bold statement yeah. to say. To, okay, for me saying dogs are better than cats, I'm like, yeah, obviously. Like it's not even like that crazy. But to say no, 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 you're you are wrong. Cats are superior than dogs by far. I'd be like. You good? Yeah, you must love <laughs> Whataburger too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I like Whataburger too. Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy ketchup is good. Spicy ketchup goes crazy. It goes crazy good. Yeah, yeah. that but, needs to be everywhere. Yeah, it does. It's good. I love spicy. Let me uh, look. No, I'm not gonna take back my answer. I don't like Whataburger. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I think it's like Mugra King. It's which not is good. Burger King. Yeah, but I'd rather take, I'll I'll rather take Burger King. Like, I'd rather take Burger King. I've caught a fade and like. You know, yeah, of course. the homie Alex from El Paso, yeah. he like got me Whataburger. Yeah. Did I smack it? Yeah. Yeah. I also smack fucking, you know, anything else. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not like, oh my God. It'll never be in my top five. Never. Not even top 10. Yeah. There's I, way more other things than Whataburger. I'm so sorry. People from Texas. I'm not sorry. It is what it is. My, I don't know what it is. We'll be right back on a commercial. <laughs> Let's do it.
<laughs> We're gonna go on a quick break. Is We're that gonna cool? go to Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with him. No Sabo Challenge. I haven't even seen the questions. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Let's get it. Let's get it. Bad. I'm actually so excited. I haven't seen the, the the questions and everybody back at home. Thank you so much for actually replying to the to the questionnaire. I'm excited to see what we got. Um, I told Josh I wasn't really what. Oh shit! Bradley Martin's having a baby. Good for him. With who? I don't know. That's how do you know? He just posted it. Hashtag blessed. Whoa. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. I want to have a baby soon. All right, uh, I told Josh I wasn't going to look at anything because... Oh my gosh, this is good. These are good. Yeah? Yeah. All right. This is a, this let, is a, let, let, let's do this because we're probably seeing the same thing. I'm going to go all the way down and then you start from the top. Okay. Yeah. Off the top, there's like three people that said the same word. No way. I swear to God. Oh, so it must be a thing. Must be a thing. Okay, how are we going to hey, verify? This is how popping we are. Hey, look, I'm going to give you the word. I'm going to give you the word and then you... I will Google it while you're thinking of the word. Deal? Like if you we, don't know it. Well, yeah. No, you know why? Yeah. Because you have to guess too. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Okay, Real bet. quick. You pay $14.99 to get ver verified now, huh? Bitch, I've been you verified. Did, huh? What the how dare you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> you pay $14.99. You can't even give a straight you face. You can't even fucking join you can't give a straight face. You can't even join the gold gym that I tell you to keep joining, but you want to do $14.99 <laughs> for a for a verification. Hey, wow. listen, man. Listen, man. Hey, listen. What I'm are you what, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I think okay. Permission to speak freely. Sure. And no judgment here. Sure. It's it's a uh, it's a little thirsty. It's yeah. a little thirsty if you're doing it. I think if it makes sense for you to do it, if you're like I don't, I don't real know, quick, man. what what are the benefits of being verified? Uh, for somebody who's been verified, or are you saying just like in general? No, like I know you've been verified. I was yeah. just joking, but when you get verified, what does it say it does? Like, what is it? Um, I'm I, not verified. Karen's been verified yeah, since yeah. who knows when. You too. Yeah. But I think it has to do with people like getting hacked a lot. And then like. And there's more. There's, there's more, more protection. protection around it. Yeah. And I think you get to get seen. Like having like a blue check mark kind of like stands out more. Right. So uh -huh. I think that. Yeah. I, I would I would assume that's what it is. You know, when somebody like uh, that has like a, a lot of. I don't know how they gauge it. But like there's like a priority thing now. Mm. Like maybe you pop up on the priority if you're verified. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. It makes people know that this is you. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know, man. I'm like, spend your money somewhere else. Like, really? Like, unless it. Listen, I'm not here judgment. Do you? It's your money. Yeah, At the end of the day, if you want to spend I, 15 bucks on I, a little blue check mark, by all means. I was about to say, like, um, I personally think it's like an ego thing. It's an ego thing. Yeah. I think it's like I want to be like you know. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it does anything to be honest. Can I tell you something though? Like for someone like you, I would see the benefit in being verified, like paying for it. And paying it under the business, like paying it under La Platica, because you are like the host of La Platica. Like it just makes true, sense. True. Like if you like so situations like that. But if you're like, if it's just to do it just for uh for ego, for status and stuff like that, I think I Which think is a majority of people. You think so? Do you think so? <laughs> do you think so? I like how you made a statement. And it's like, about oh. you. <laughs> so, so, so they're whack. Like, I don't know. Are they? I don't know. You tell me. You're just calling people whack? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, you know what I mean? Like, it, I, I think like check check your intention. Like, yeah, why yeah, are you yeah. doing yeah, it? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah that, that's what I was saying that it's thirsty. But for the majority of people, I don't think they're doing it for that. I just think it's for status and ego. Yeah. That's, that to me yeah. is a little. But now don't you think that like, like, like for example. I feel bad saying this because. Because I'm like, dude, it's, I, think they, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I me neither. I do not care. Me neither. But, but I think you're everyone's asking me for my opinion. Everyone's thinking about it though. If you're asking me for my opinion, yeah, everyone's thinking about it though. It's a little whack, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I think now it's super watered down. So can you still earn the blue check, or you got to pay for it now? You, like that's the only way. You pay monthly, fourteen ninety nine. But could you still earn it? Could Instagram still give it to you? Like why, would, why to pay? would you earn it when you can just pay it? Oh, like, I get it. Yeah. But I, I don't. No, I don't know. Let's say you like you genuinely are a public figure and Instagram is like, we got to verify him because, you know, he's a public figure. Mm, maybe. You know? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. They should come out with another color. 
that's a good idea. So the ones that pay are blue are the ones who are actually verified through Instagram and stuff like that because of whatever reason. It could be like. But at the end of the day, it's the same shit, right? Status and ego yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then if you get like, say it's a red check, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, I got the red one. Yeah. Next to my blue one. I do like the fact that it does verify the actual account. Sure. In, in the sense of like, if I'm no, searching yeah, for right. somebody and like sometimes they have a bunch of accounts yeah. and stuff like that, like I know, oh, they got the blue check. Oh, I know that's for sure them. You know what I mean? So I do like that I, aspect. But these are people that I'm searching for for a specific reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not just because I'm trying to see like Juanito down the street, see yeah. like, oh, is but this that, really him, fool? I that, don't know. He doesn't have the blue check. That's the thing though. So everybody has access to it. So I just got back from Denmark. I Dude, I love that little thing you tweeted. It's uh, it's, it's, it's in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Denmark. Denmark? Yeah. Never heard of it. Cool. Um, yeah, we were over there for a little bit. A 10 hour flight. Did oh, so you, you say how long, how long the flight was? 10 hour flight. 10 hour. <laughs> there and back. Big time difference. <laughs> um great people do you know denmark is, is top can we talk three? about the food mid mid as super fuck. but we're latino everything is mid That's to us true. um top three places to live is uh copenhagen denmark oh wow they i think are number two of happiest people in the world you know number one i know number one i think it's sweden no finland finland yeah yeah Told you. Yeah, damn, you're good. Bro. Well, I, I, you know, I, you know, I go. Hey, far. you're a no sabo kid, but hey, she's like, a little bit si of other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> si se. Um, but yeah, so when I got back from Denmark, okay. I, because I wasn't really on my phone on Denmark. I really tried to enjoy my time. I don't know if you noticed, I wasn't really on my phone. Mm, you you didn't probably don't. Yeah, yeah, I did it. Um, until when I got back, probably. But it's called I, being present, being in the moment. Yeah, I wish I am. Yeah, dude, you know, it's very rare that you even here right now. So I appreciate the fact that you were present. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to live my life. My Social boy. media isn't real. G. I'm trying to live my life. My, eh. Don't let the blue check mark fool you, G. Eh. You know what I'm saying? It ain't real, G. Eh. Hey, save your 15 bucks, G. 1499, G. 1499. Um, <laughs> You're like, I already looked into it. I came it. back home. I already submitted an application. I came back home and I said, I saw hella check marks. And I was like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? <laughs> All y'all motherfuckers verifying? All y'all motherfuckers verifying now, huh? Yeah. And I was actually really interested. I was like, how do they do it, right? Because I didn't I yeah. I heard about it before I left. Yeah. Um, and then I clicked and I found it. And you know, it said this and that, and it said $14.99 a month. And I'm just like, that's that's crazy to me, dude. Fifteen dollars a month to carry a blue check mark. Yeah. That's wild. By the way, they actually have to verify your identification. So on the top of your bio, whatever is on your ID has to be your full name. Really? Yeah, yeah. So people who have been verified, they have the ability to change it and not actually have it to be their full name if mm. they don't want it to be. But if you do pay for the verification, you have to keep it like that. I don't even think you can change your photo. So that's one way to know if somebody paid for their verification is if they have their full like legal name in their bio, oh. like you know at the top. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That. You know we got the option to verify La Platica, which I think we should see. I'm all talking shit about it, but I'm like, I think there's certain cases where maybe yeah, it's sure, valid. Sure, it is sure. valid. Um, but I don't know how that would work because I know we'd have to probably sit, submit an ID, so it would have to be one of our names that would be up there. To yeah. us, I don't, it's probably uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yo, I'm not gonna say any names, but if the homie that I know, Fulanito, who has 200 followers, who yes. who 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 posts once a year, yeah, and he has a blue check mark now, I'm sure it's not gonna be that hard for La Platica to get it. You right, me? yeah, bright, yeah. <laughs> bright. <laughs> I said bright with a V. Yeah, you're like, bright. Damn, bright, bright, <laughs> bright. Um, okay, I'm ready for this. All right, let's go. Oh, but everybody, just know that we know who you are. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't got a gym membership. But you got a blue check, check, check mark. Get check, your priorities. Check check yourself. Yeah, you probably a cat lover too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. You All want, right, ready? Want, yeah. Want, want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. Sandwich. Hey, by the way, the rock paper scissors shoot thing. You what? lost. I did. Yeah, you lost. You're lying. Everybody was like, "I'm with Savas on this." You're lying. Okay, even if you didn't lose, so it people was 50, go 50. wrong. People, uh, yeah, people do that. That, that, that. I don't know. Maybe it's a West Coast thing. Maybe it's just a cool guy thing. Why rock, is it paper? <laughs> Okay, every time that you've been in that position where somebody goes, yo, rock, paper, scissors, they always, that conversation always happens. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot, or rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, always happens. Yeah. What does it always end up being? Rock, paper, eh. Okay. <laughs> What's the word, dude? What's the word? You're what? wrong. You're wrong. Rock, okay, paper, check the TikTok. Sometimes I don't say shoot. Check the TikTok. Sometimes I don't say shoot. Check sometimes the, go rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper. Scissors. Rock, paper. Do you know the other uh, variations of it? Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, Rochambeau. Rochambeau, piedra, papel, tijera. Yeah. Is there another? There's somebody else said another one too. 
It was, yeah, it was like, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. All right, but you said paper? What was it? What was the word? Oh, so, okay, so let's do, yeah, these are all words, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, sandwich. Uh, sandwich? Sandwich. No. Sandwich? No. Okay, okay, let, let, can we just say something real quick? This Last is a podcast, time we were dude. like, this is all we do is yeah. say shit. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were googling it, googling it, um, and it was a lot of proper shit. Okay. Let's keep it Mexican, bro. Let's keep it OG. Let's keep it like this how we were raised. Yeah. And maybe pe if you're not Mexican, like, and you're listening to us, like, but we you tell us what it's called because I think, like, l l you know, l listen, listen. On some Mexican American shit. Yes, yes. But here's the thing: when we, like, for example, sandwiche, right? Sandwich. <laughs> Where's that at? <laughs> Sandwich, whatever you want to say. Deep down inside, you know that's not right. Sure. You know there's a proper way of saying sure, it. Sure, sure. Even though that's how we communicate. You know what I mean? How do you say sandwich? Torta. <laughs> how do you say it? Sandwiche. I say sandwiche. It's not sandwiche, you jackass. <laughs> You're going to call me a dumbass. <laughs> oh my God, look at it. Sandwich in Spanish. Hold on. Sandwich in Spanish. Sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? You like it. But see how they pronounce it. See how they pronounce it. Click the Spanish one. Sandwich. No, in, Sp in Espanol way. Sandwich. <laughs> I told you. All right. Sandwich. One for one for me, my boy. So, and you Okay, what, what came first? What did you say? Sandwich. Dude, what's it? That's it, like if you go go up to somebody and say, ¿De dónde eres de México? Sandwich de Dios. <laughs> oh, you know what? Sandwich is almost like ketchup. Like the, I say capsu. Katsu. How do you say it in Spanish? I have no idea. Uh, two, I say it in two words. Katsu mm -hmm. y ketcha. Ketcha, yeah. I don't know how to say it, though. Yeah. Uh, salsa de tomate? Is that what it is? It could be, yeah. Probably what it is. Yeah, but yeah. I think they would put that more on, like, a pasta or something. No. Salsa de marinera. For pastas, G. Whatever, G. Blueberries. Damn. Come on, dude. Damn. Uh, What's your guess? Because you don't know. Blueberries is... You don't know. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Um, It's not cerezas, is it? Nope. Is it... Dang. I literally knew it like a year ago. I swear to you. I don't know it right now. What is it? Arandanos? Arandanos? Arandanos. 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 I don't know how to read. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to got that one wrong. You got it wrong, too. I said it right. Damn, these are hard. Y'all, do y'all know these? Someone said, how do you say platypus in Spanish? Platypus? Platypus. Like a platypus, the animal. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. Would, That's hard. Yeah. Um, I'm sure a lot of people in, that speak Spanish don't know how to say platypus in Spanish. Elevator. I Máquina de subir y bajar. Un elevador. Okay, is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, you might be right. I think you're right. Yeah, sube tal elevador. Yeah, but check. No. Oh, this is a good one. How do you say straw? Straw? Yeah. Okay, there's a lot. And I yeah. like that you said this. Yeah. Okay, say What's it again. Say it again so we can make a TikTok. Okay, how do you say straw in Spanish? Well, there's a lot of ways to say straw in Spanish. Which way do you say it? I say popote. Oh. But it's popote, yeah. pajita. 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 Pajita, pajita. Pajita is what you eat. Right. At Jack and Box. Uh, <laughs> no, this is a fajita pita. Fajita pita. <laughs> Don't get it twisted, y'all. <laughs> uh, you say, okay, I say popote. I say popote as well. It's pajita. Yeah. And um, pitillo. Pitillo is a little weird. I'm well traveled, my boy. I know how they say it around the world. You, you, pitillo is a little sus. Pitillo is super sus, but so is popote, because what really is popote is a huge poop. <laughs> I mean, I, or is that slang for a huge poop? Popo. Yeah, but pote is like, is that really what it is? Like, un pop, like, un popo grande, popote. Popote, yeah, but I think that's more slang though. But I sure. think I get what you're saying. Yeah. But I went, I forgot where I was. I, I think me, one of my Colombian oh, friends. Oh, they were like, what the fuck you said? I was like, yeah, I think yeah. they say uh, pitillo or pajita, I forgot. Yeah. But they said popote means big poop. And when they said that, I realized that that's actually what it does mean. And I'm yeah. like, I was laughing because that's hilarious. Dude, I remember one time one of my friends told me, just like straws in general are sus, yeah. <laughs> apparently. But one of my friends was like, bro, you like drink from a straw? Like, that's weird, bro. Like, that's sus. I'm like, what? I didn't like think about it like that. But now like the words on it too are like all sus. I drink out of a- Hey, straws are sus. I, I drink out of a straw when I'm in the car. Okay. 
if I'm at a restaurant, I sit down and and they like if I'm at In and Out and they give yeah. me a straw and, and they have you straws the available lid? and there's lids and shit. Why am I gonna drink out of a straw? I never use lids. I never use the the popote. Nothing yeah. like that. I just pour the soda and I take the, take take the cup like that. Yeah, but then you're gonna ruin your lipstick, fool. So fax machine. Think about it, dude. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> fax I actually, machine. I actually uh. I see the benefit in drinking from a straw, but I prefer drinking from a cup too. Not not just because not on some like machismo shit. I just enjoy it. I just I like okay, I like feeling yeah, the sure. ice on my lip. You sure, know? but honestly, real men drink without a straw. Really? And no lids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, what you are. You just don't know. You're just a real guy. Damn, this is like who I am as an individual. Real men don't drink out of a lid or a straw unless you're in the car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and your windows are tinted. <laughs> <laughs> No eye contact. <laughs> no eye contact. Uh, all right. <laughs> Next. You pretend like it never happened. Uh, how do you... Oh, this is pretty easy. Uh, mm, you, did I go? Oh, you know you what? No, you just went. How do you say pen in Spanish? Pluma. Una pluma, yeah. But you know that um, my brother, he's from Guatemala, and una pluma, they also... You know another uh, like meaning for pluma? Yeah, feather. No, another another one. And do you know why they call it Pluma. Cause back in Answer the my question back, first. back in the George Washington days, they yeah. would write with a, a feather. feather. Yeah, yeah, una pluma. Yeah, I got you. But they in Guatemala, a don't pluma, tell me no. Yeah, go ahead. Gunshot. No. Uh, gunpowder. Nope. What? A fart. The oh, chest is una pluma. Uh, yeah, dude. That's crazy. I that's crazy. That. That's crazy. That's crazy. G. A fart. <laughs> a fart. All right, pluma go. sounds so like proper though. Like una pluma. The chest yeah. is una pluma. Or un lapis. But is lapis a, a wooden pencil? Lapis is a... La, una lapicera. Yeah, yeah. I think... I thought it was a pen, too. No, lapis is pencil, dude. Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Because what's pencil? Lapis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you say parking? Uh, I would say parqueando. That's super wrong. I know. That's, that's super, super no sabo of you. Do you know? Do you want me to edit that out? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, parking? Parquear? No. And I just had this conversation with my girl too. I'm like, stop saying that. She said that? Well, a lot oh, of people estacionar. say that. Es yeah, estacionar. estacionar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estacionamiento. Estacionamiento, yeah. Estacionar. Oh, estacionamiento. Estacionamiento. Es 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 wow. Una estación is a station. Yeah. Estacionarte, estacionarte is to park. Right. Estacionamiento is a parking spot. It's a parking lot. Spot. Spot, lot, whatever. Um, yeah. Is that the same thing? Because there's parking and then parking lot. Estacionamiento. Okay, so that's Estacionarte parking lot. to park. Yeah. 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 Okay. What was the one that you're going to say right now? Keyboard. Keyboard. Yeah. Um, teclado. Yeah? Is mm -hmm. that what it is? I'm not even going to Google it. I trust you. Thank you. Belly button. Belly button. <laughs> Belly button. <laughs> Ombligo. Oh yeah, ombligo. Yeah. yeah, you know it. It sucks when like you can't think of the word because this. But this, you know, this is almost like a quiz, yeah, right? But you know, but you know, and then you hear it and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. The blueberry one, I really didn't. I forgot. Yeah, fussy. Uh, <laughs> um, I got one bracelet. Uh, it's not collar. No, it's um. I know this one. Uh. Oh my god, this was gonna be one of them that that yeah. is gonna. Yeah, want me to tell you? No, 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 no. no I no. won't judge you. Uh, Goyada's necklace. Yes. Bracelet is. Starts with the P. Yeah. Uh, pulpo? No. <laughs> I, my brain is going to. Uh, P U. Por sura? Almost. Por. Pul. Pul. Se. Pul sera. Yeah. Damn. Got you, G. Thanks. Thanks. We're for a team. Yeah, we're, we're a team, team today. Yeah, it's us against everybody back at it's home. It's us against the world, G. It's us against the world, G. Um, bedroom. Per camera. Mm -hmm. Good one. Somebody, somebody like said the word in Spanish. Um, I got another one for you. Go ahead. Pronounce this in English. Cállate los hocico. Shut your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Hey, you shut your mouth. How do you say to blush in Spanish? Blush? Yeah. Chivie. Me chivie. Yeah. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I would go... Let's see this. Me pones nervioso. Nervioso. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, what about wrist? 
Your wrist. Uh, wrist is um. I think I know what it is. Uh, wrist is uh. I I, I think I I'm know pretty it. sure. What is it? What's your guess? Muñeca. The muñeca. Bro, I'm, I think that's pinky. No, you no. Don't give me that pinky shit anymore. That's what it is, bro. That's no. pinky. No, that's the other one that I said we put on TikTok. That's the word. It's not. Look, wrist in Spanish. Muñeca. Ah. Uh, so what's on pinky? What's on pinky? Uh, you, Menique. You said meñique, yeah. yeah. Stupid word. It's <laughs> dedito. <laughs> You're all mad. All right. Um, how do you say? How do you say truck in Spanish? It's not troca. I think it's troca. Yeah. And and dr is la guagua. <laughs> how do you say hiking? Hiking. Um, how do you don't hike? Hiking in Spanish, I hate hiking. Hiking in Spanish is caminar, you're not gonna get it, bro. Caminar el cerro. No. <laughs> uh, sen, senderismo. Senderismo. No idea. I don't think that's that's not nothing my mother would say. No, senderismo. Mustard. I have no idea. Mostaza. Most oh my god, I didn't know that one. That was, that was easy. That was easy. That was easy. You're losing today. You know that, right? That was easy. You're losing today. <sighs> bone marrow in Spanish. Bone marrow. I love bone marrow. So I got this one a lot, my man. Bone marrow. Bone I, I don't marrow. like bone marrow. You like that? I love bone marrow, bro. You like the texture of bone marrow? Yeah. I also love oysters and I love I like caviar. oysters. But isn't it like gushy? It's gushy, did, no? Did you just hear yourself? <laughs> isn't it like gushy? You're it's so gushy. no sabo. It's gushy, isn't it? No, isn't no, no. it like gushy? No, no, I'm talking about the texture. It's gushy. Yeah, sure. It's gushy. You like that? Yeah, I like I can it. maybe have it on some toast. I love gushy. <laughs> um, bone marrow in Spanish is tuetano. Tuetano? Tuetano. Use it in a sentence. Sí, puedo, puedo ordenar los tuetanos. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Ay, qué rico están los tuétanos. Uh, oye, sí tienen tuétanos. Okay. Okay. Yeah. ¿Cómo te gusta prepararte tus tuétanos? Okay, that seems that seems a little better. Yeah, like how do you prepare your tuétanos? You know, yeah. compraste tuétanos. Yeah. La tienes dura como un tuétano. <laughs> Stop flirting, <laughs> Oh, I got a tough one for you. Go ahead. Celery. Do you know? I do know, but I don't know right now, but I do know. Celery. And I'm not and I'm not gonna try to like Google it because I really wanna know. Celery. I really wanna remember. Um Can you use it in a sentence? Well not yet, because I don't know the word yet. In English. Celery. Use it in a sentence. I hate celery. <laughs> I love celery with peanut butter. Yeah. You ever had marching ants? What? Marching ants? No, what is that? Celery, peanut butter, uh raisins. Oh. No, it's called uh, ants on a log. That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. never had that. Wow, That's probably wow. some cerrito shit. <laughs> um, no, it's honestly something like celery in Spanish is celular. No, that's cell phone. <laughs> celery. Oh my god, I'm tripping. Celery in Spanish is. I have no idea. I, I I'm not even gonna try. Oh it my god, and I'm gonna be so mad when I Google this. Yep. Apio. 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 You didn't know it. Apio. I didn't know that. I yeah. Said that. Apio. You didn't know it either. No, I did. But you didn't know it. But I didn't know it right now. No, it's, you didn't it's, know it's it. It's one of those things where you know, but I just can't, I can't, you know, put two and two together. Why did everybody say platypus? How do you say I, it? I got a lot of platypus. Now I'm actually interested in how do you say platypus in Spanish. Platypus. Platypus. What? What? Ornitorrinco. Ornitorrinco. Say it. Ornitorrinco. 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 Look at these cute little guys. That's a platypus? Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone said for Joshi, olive. Olive. Yeah, olive. Do you know? Give me a second. Olive. olive. Olive is. Oh my God, I forgot. Damn. I'm so glad we're doing this. It's just me letting to brush up on my Spanish. All of you. I love you. All of you. Mm, aceituna. Mm. Aceituna. Yeah, aceituna. that's what it is. 
Um, so much easier so to say you, olive. It's so funny you said I'll, 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 I'll live you. Why? I remember I was in middle school one day, bro. And this girl that I had a crush on, not like super, but like. Was she hot? Yeah, she was cute. She was like cute, I guess, being in middle school. I don't know. It's kind of weird me saying that now when I'm 32 years old. But yeah, sure. <laughs> At the time. At dude. the time, sure. I thought she was cute. Um, We were in class and oh, it was just heartbroken because. I never really told her I had a crush on her. <gasps> and I remember I was just sitting down. And like, I think I sat in front of her and I kind of like did one of these where I kind of just want to like look. And a little peek? Yeah, just like a little peek. Like, what's up? She was staring dead ass at me, bro. And I knew her. Like, we were friends. Yeah. And like, you know, we kick it kind of with the same people. Yeah, on the low. On the low. But like, I, I don't think she ever knew how to crush You her. ever hold her hand? Never. Wow. Never. And uh, she looks dead. She looks... She looks at me dead ass in my eye sockets. Okay. In my, in my, she looked straight at me, bro. Deep into your soul. Deep, bro. Deep, deep, deep. And she said, and she said, and I was like, did she just say I love you? And I was like, hmm? <laughs> Imagine middle school. Yeah. I was like, hmm? She goes, and I was like, what'd you say? And she gets closer to me. She goes, I love olive juice. <laughs> that sounds different than I love you. I, that Yeah, that's not it. I think she, yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. But I thought it was just, which is olive you. Okay, it might have been that or it might have been <laughs> the one that I said. You get what olive I'm saying? Olive juice? Because juice? is just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I love olive juice. And then I look at her and I was like, ah, 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 that's funny. But little did she know, I was heartbroken for a month, bro. Damn. Like that. Shattered your heart. Shattered my heart. How so, are you doing? Have it, you recovered? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think by eighth grade, I was fine. <laughs> Imagine you tell Karen this, you're like, listen, I need to tell you something. I'm not, I'm not fully recovered. The reason why <laughs> lately I've been the way I am. The reason why it took nine years for me to It repose. was 1998. <laughs> No way, like 2002. <laughs> Damn. Something like that. Wow. And then what? You never talked to her again after that or what? No, I did, but like. You were like, you're bitter. Bitter, bro. Damn. Like, don't ever say you love allergies in front of me. <laughs> ever mouth that. Wow. Ooh, I got it going for you. Give it to me. Hey, dude. Hey, Sebas. Sebas. <laughs> <laughs> blinking. Oh, um. Blinking. Wow. Like this? Blinking? Yeah, I'm blinking. Or like your blinker. Blinking. You're blinking. Um, Ojitos. I would say that. Yeah. But it's not. But it is. It's parpadeo. No. It's parpadeo. ojitos. No, no, it's ojitos. Dude. Trust me. Okay. I got to go for you. Consideration. Right. Um. Consideration. Wow, I, I I feel like I know. I don't know how to say. It. I wouldn't know. I would say I, I, agradecido, but that's not right. No, right? not right at all. Actually, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> like actually, not. At, What's like, agradecido? Way. Like appreciative. Agradecido, yeah. Like yeah. I'm appreciative. Yeah. I'm, yeah. What's the word? Consideration. Oh, consideration. Um, I uh, I think it's consideración. Okay, is that right? Yeah, I think so. But I'm not gonna Google it because I think I'm gonna be right. Sometimes it's so easy. Real quick. Before we go on a little quick break. Oh, shit. Bat. Like a bat. Not a bat, uh -huh. but like a bat. Like, like an actual bat? Like an actual bat. I have no idea. Murcielago. Wow. I would just say Batman. Batman. We're going to go on a quick break. And then I'm, before, when we're on a quick break, I'm going to talk to you about what's wrong with your nosabo in this city. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ladies, go to your man and say, I love, just say, I love juice. Or say, I love I love what? YouTube. <laughs> when your man says, I love you, you're like, I love YouTube. <laughs> I love YouTube. I love YouTube. We'll be right back.
Fuck it, we'll just do an outro. We'll just do an outro. <laughs> wow, dude. Hey, guys, so uh, very quickly, just came back from our second commercial break. And uh, this uh, this uh, behemoth of a man <laughs> forgot to hit record. That's the first time ever on La Platica. Yeah. I thought you were joking with me. We literally record a full 20 minute segment, guys, that is not going to make the cut because it doesn't have audio. <sighs> yeah. And I would tell you, like, let's replay it or let's say those things that we said. But and that's, that's not a, fake. That's, that's fake, bro. And one thing La Platica is not fake. Capital f yeah we're not fake nah crazy oh that was God. really that's you know what that means that whole segment was just for us <laughs> it'll never exist again it'll never exist wow it was literally like a good 10 to 15 minutes Easy. of us talking about Easy. funny stuff yeah and we'll never get around to you that know what's crazy again. is that i was putting you on the spot too and all that's gonna be gone i know i said some crazy shit that i probably shouldn't have said all that's gone I exposed you in a way that I should have never exposed not, yeah, you. Yeah, and, and I'm it's not all gonna, gone. And I'm not gonna make you say it again. I don't even remember what I said, dude. I'm in the moment kind of guy. It's funny because guys, when I said like, "Oh, we'll see you guys on the next platica," blah, blah blah, I was about to hit like stop recording, and then you realize that. You and I realized that when the button's red, that means it's recording, and when I was gonna hit, it was green, aka it was never red. Are you sure, dude? I swear, bro. I mean, I could check later when I get to my house, but I'm pretty sure, G. The cameras capture audio, but it sucks. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Maybe you could do what you know what you could do is like make this the ending and whoever wants to stick around and hear audio from the cameras can. Don't make me do more work, G. <laughs> you know your idea? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but yeah, we were saying um, thank you guys for watching 84. 84. It, we figured out it was 84. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next Platiquita. We got an incredible guest coming. We got an incredible guest coming. Yeah. It's a him, Himothy. It's a Himothy, Hemi Neutron. Um, that's that's for next week. <laughs> We're very excited really about gonna that. They're really going to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what day is this again? Uh, today's the third. Oh, no. This I got to talk to you about what day Himothy's coming. coming. Um, I was able to change it to Wednesday. I think Wednesday is going to work. Okay, cool. I think so. Because he said, anyways, we'll talk about this after. Yeah. This is this business. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been, yeah. Been, been, been in it. Business, 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 business. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your guys' Monday. We love you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Um, for everybody who's new, hi, once again. We love y'all. Hey, guys. Hey. The Josh Leva. Yeah. Sebastian Robles, a tu servicio. I know we already did it, but I just think we should just for, because this was important. What? The hitting the nasty, my boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta hit a nasty, my boy. Nos vemos en la próxima plática. Ma -ma. Ma -ma. AKA. Uh, uh, AKA uh, <laughs> and AKA simply uh. <laughs> simply uh. okay. <laughs> All right, my pa. Nos vemos en la próxima plática. Ya te digo. Nos vemos. Are you recording? Yes, I am. Did you push record this time? It's, it's recording. Jeez, Is sorry. it red? Hey, sorry about that. Jesus, man. Come on, man. This is the number one Latino podcast in the world. Come to Google. I'm out. You're gonna change that shit. I never said it though. Google did. See ya. Hit the button next time, man. Hey. Do you know what's so funny? The whole time, full circle moment. The, remember the the video that we did when I when I first announced that I was a podcast. I was like, do I hit the button? I hit the button, Josh. Oh yeah. You didn't yeah, hit the yeah. button, dude. I didn't hit the button. What happened again? See you guys. Hey, I I have to say this, dude. Major fail. Whatever. Dude. Hey, I have to say this. Figure it out. Ciao.